I would like to thank this video sponsor, DraftKings Sportsbook. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It is fight week, and as of right now, I started my weight cut and process, which kind of got me thinking. This is something that's not talked about a whole lot. How fighters, myself, cut weight for a fight. And uh, that's what we'll be discussing today for our Technique Tuesday. Let's get after it. What up, everybody? Everybody, what's up, everybody? <laughs> this video is sponsored by DraftKings Sportsbook. This week, I'll be stepping back into the octagon, facing off against Bilal Muhammad. Head to DraftKings Sportsbook now to join me in the action. DraftKings is giving all new customers a deposit bonus up to $1,000 in site credits. DraftKings Sportsbook offers so many ways to get in on the action on Saturday's fight. You can bet on style of win, length of fight, which round the fight will end, and so much more. For those where sports betting isn't currently available, head to the DraftKings Daily Fantasy Sports app where they have millions of dollars up for grabs this weekend. DraftKings is safe, secure, and reliable, and the best part is you can withdraw and deposit your cash whenever you want. Don't miss out on all the action this fight night with DraftKings Sportsbook, the official sports betting partner of UFC. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now and use promo code WONDERBOY when you sign up to receive up to $1,000 in site credits with your first deposit. That's code WONDERBOY to receive up to $1,000 in site credits only with DraftKings Sportsbook. All right, so everybody knows this fight week and it's currently Sunday, which is when I actually start the weight cutting process. Now, people you know, do the weight cutting process a little bit differently than others, but I want to discuss how I like to do it. Now, you know, I normally start my weight cut off, actually, I start camp weighing about 195, 190-ish, somewhere around there, and the UFC usually brings this out there on a Tuesday. Since today is my very first day of the process, I am water loading. I, this is when I start my water loading, so I'm saturating my body with water. It actually makes the weight come off a little easier, and of course, losing the water weight a whole lot easier as well. So today I'm drinking, I think it is 8.5 liters of water, which is a little bit over two gallons. Um, if I can get three gallons, that's awesome. So that's what I'm focused on today. It literally takes all day. Got my water bottle right here and I'm just gonna be drinking and using the restroom all day long. So it's a, it's a pretty uh, long process today kind of boring but still it's got to be done so that's what I'm focused on today and to be honest with you I can't tell you how much energy and focus it takes to drink that much water but it does I eat a little bit today but it's mainly about the water so as of right now I'm kind of upping my fiber so a lot of uh, a lot of veggies today I'll have some broccoli I'll have some carrots and I'm dipping a little bit of, of ranch just to kind of give it some flavor a little bit make it a little bit more interesting going down but but today's mostly just focused on drinking the water. What I do during the week is I start off with trying to get three gallons down on Sunday and I cut a half a gallon off as I work my way towards my weight cut, which is gonna be Thursday night. So I'll cut a half a gallon off. So I'm still drinking a ton of water during the week. So tomorrow, which is Monday of fight week, I'll try and get down two gallons of water. Um, and obviously I'm eating different things here and there. I'll have some protein, I'll eat some more veggies, but it's mostly veggies. Kind of want to really get that high fiber going. Kind of helps clean me out and get rid of some of whatever I have in my intestines out of there because all that matters. All that extra weight in my body makes it more difficult if I don't get it out. So that's what I'm focused on on Monday. Before I continue any further, I want to let you guys know that I am a professional athlete and I have certain people in my camp that, that help me cut my weight. So if that's something that you wanted to try out or you're a new fighter and you're learning to wait, you know, doing the weight process, I use the world renowned Tyler Minton and he's, he's worked with many, many, many high level fighters, especially in the UFC and Bellator. So he knows what he's doing and he's checking in on me every day, he's checking my vitals, checking where my weight's at, making sure that I'm, I'm, I'm putting the right stuff in my body leading up to the fight. And so make sure you guys have a professional helping you out. That said, we're moving on to Tuesday of fight week. We're leaving this, this Tuesday 
uh, around 9 o'clock a.m. Eastern. And we're usually getting there. I'll probably get there around 1 o'clock p.m. to Vegas. And as soon as I land, I'll have Tyler Minton is there. And he'll have different foods throughout the week that he will provide and make for me. You know, protein, veggies, that sort of thing. So I'm eating. I'm still eating, you know, three, four times a day, but also still losing the weight. That's because... I'm still drinking my water. Now, I'm not a chef, and I really don't know exactly what he prepares for me. I just know there's chicken, and it's delicious. Sometimes we'll have, like, zucchini spaghetti, which is awesome. And he'll make these little tiny little little uh, dessert chocolate, dark chocolate peanut butter balls, which are phenomenal. I think last time he did cheesecake balls. Those were amazing. And when you're cutting weight, anything with a little bit of sugar in it is going to be delish. But Tuesday, that's what I'm focused on getting my water intake in, and of course, finishing my meals that Tyler has prepared for me. Now, each day that I'm leading up to the fight, I will get a workout or two in, and all that consists of is just me breaking a sweat, burning calories and breaking a sweat. And I'll do that Tuesday. I will also do that Wednesday, and that's very difficult actually. Wednesday is a day where I do a ton of media from 9 a.m. to about 2, 2.30, sometimes 3 o'clock p.m., I'm doing nonstop media for the UFC, help build the fight up. And in between that, I gotta find time to drink my water and eat my meals during the day. So that is a really long and hard process on Wednesday. Now, the big day. This is when I start to get nervous because I, I do not like this process. It's just kind of grueling, and it's literally the fight before the fight. Thursday is weight cut day. So I consume water and food, I think, up until around 2 o'clock. And after that, nothing. No more water, no more food until after weigh-ins on Friday morning. We usually start my weight cut, the sweat down process, as late as possible. That way I'm not in that state for a long period of time. And it's very, the longer you're in that shrinking down state, you know, trying to get as close to 170 as possible, for a long period of time, the worse it is on your body. So I try and limit to that, make that, uh, that time as small as possible. So we'll get down there, I actually, at our hotel, we'll start applying uh, sweet sweat on around 9 p.m. So sweet sweat is something that you cake on your body. I cannot stand the smell of this stuff because of just the, the grueling process that I go through. I can't stand the smell of it. It just, the smell of it reminds me of being miserable, which is terrible. And to be honest with you, my weight cut's not as bad as some of these other fighters that I've seen. So I can't really say a whole lot. But we start that around nine o'clock. I will put on a sauna suit and I'll do that on the bare skin. I'll put a sauna suit on, I'll put a, a sweatpants, sweatshirt, and a hoodie. And we have a certain room, a workout room that I am assigned to. And we'll get down there, we'll turn the heat up in this workout room um, till I, I, th I think about 75, 80 degrees, kind of get it warmed up a little bit. And that's where I start my workout. I'll actually start off with doing, if there's no machines, then I'll do some shadow boxing or just moving around. If we, if we have access to a bike or a treadmill, I'll do a treadmill for 15 minutes. I'll do a bike for 15 minutes. And then we'll move to the room where I'll do uh, literally an hour workout. Now at first, I would say the first 20 to five to 30 minutes, I have energy so I can move around. I'm feeling good. Once that weight and that water starts coming off, the weaker I get. So that goes from me doing an intensive, you know, shadow boxing to just kind of moving around a little bit. You know, I'm not really throwing a whole lot. I'll do that. I'll do the shadow boxing for about 15 minutes and then I'll move to a, it's, I wouldn't say it's a full sauna. It's like a little sit down sauna that kind of keeps me warm a little bit. Once I get my core temperature up, and I start sweating, I do a, a, a least amount of workout as possible. So I'll move around just to get the core warm, and then I'll get in that little warm sauna area, and I'll just sweat, and I'll just sit there, and I'll keep sweating until I can get as close as I can. And normally, I, I can do that by feeling. I hate taking all that off and stepping on a scale, and I have a tremendous amount of weight to go. So I'll, I'll go as long as possible sweating in that in my sauna suit and workout clothes as long as possible and I can kind of feel whether I'm close or not just by experience just by doing it for for many years so I'll get down to about 173 ish and then I stop and during this time it's a really 
positive vibe in the room because it's got to be positive in there for you because if not, it can get pretty bad real quick just because how bad you feel. But normally I, I'm talking with friends. We got good music going. I'll even go live on Instagram uh, just talking with fans, letting you guys know. I did that my last two fights, how the weight cut process goes. So be looking for that. Come join me for that. But I'll get down to 173. I'll go back to the room. I shower. I may have a little bit of some frozen fruit, such as pineapple. I love the. I love doing the pineapple. It just makes you feel good, and that it's frozen makes you, makes it even that much better. And I'll go to sleep. Normally, I'll float a pound overnight, but if I don't, and I got a little bit more to go, I'll do just a warm bath in the morning. I'll, I don't put anything in the bath. It's just a warm bath, and if it's too hot then your body won't sweat, so it's gotta be just right. I don't know the exact temperature, that's kinda of like my dad's thing. I'll get in and I'll start sweating and I'll cut the last you know, pound if need be doing that. And Friday morning, 9 a.m., we meet down and, and then we weigh in, boom, show the muscles off, the shredded bod, I feel like death. Then it's eating time. And that's a whole crazy process on its own because if you rehydrate too quickly, you'll feel sick. For instance, my last fight in front of the whole UFC roster, ended up drinking my my uh, shakes that I use to rehydrate my body a little too fast and I projectile vomited in front of the entire UFC roster. So don't do that. That's a whole process on its own, but it's stuff time. And even then you gotta kind of break it up and eat slowly throughout the day. As much as you wanna eat right off the bat, you have to eat it slowly because your body's so shrunken down and traumatized. So, and then again, that's why I have professionals like Tyler Minton and my pops to help me with that. But there you have it. This was gonna happen this week, my weight cutting process. So just know, while you guys are at home, enjoying your Christmas treats, your coffees, your shakes. I'm not um, gonna be doing that, dude. I don't know what you're talking about. Sweet tea, you know you will be. <laughs> you know you will be. <laughs> I'm gonna be dying. But anyways, I still love you guys. And thank you for joining me for this Tending Tuesday. Know that I will be suffering this week, and you guys will be suffering with me. Let's go, guys. Catch y'all later. See you soon. No, I'll see you after the fight. Us.